Two more stone tablets. I mean, they're not going to be there. But at least, uh, and they could be down in this area, I guess. Right, why is this room? That's... Maybe I just need to practice parrying. Maybe that's a thing that I need to do. Ah! There we go. That's something we can do. <laughs> he says just running into it as opposed to actually using stagnant blight 100. Area complete. Wonderful. Yeah! Feels like I made a little bit of progress. Um. Okay. I love just being able to walk back. It's probably something really obvious. Like this giant red thing here. Muppet. Stagnant Blight 100. And left. Ah, I remember what's over here. There was the chamber with the iron door that we couldn't get through because it required a uh, tell you that sucker clear this room out make this a bit easier on ourselves chunky yeah, there's that up there. Uh, now, how does one get to that? Uh, I'm going to take a guess. Hmm. Not like that. <laughs> Can we just... No, we're going to need... Hmm. Uh, okay. Love it when double jump, double jump just doesn't work in video games. Oh, I can do that. Oh, hi, Forsaken Fellworm. F fellworm. Kind of wasn't expecting there to be a mini boss in here, but you know, I'll take it. Oh, he's got. Oh, he's got some weird breath attack. Oh no, my birdie's out of charges. Ouch. I shall cut you down. What happened to my body? What's going on? You are fine. No, no, no. Forsaken Fellworm exhales a breath of toxic mist that spreads over a wide area. Enemies that make contact with Lou will lose health over time. Breath damage cannot be guarded. Many children denied a life within the castle walls were given refuge in the twin spires and trained as knights. 
Among the Forsaken, many were orphans of battle or illegitimate, Ill illegitimate even, children of royal blood. Okay. I mean, it ain't what I was expecting, if I'm honest. But I'll take it. Can we get up to the screen above from here? Yes, we can. Slice and dice. Right, this was... Oh, I could probably drop those on top of the enemies. Um... Come down here. Um, ah, see, there's one of the things there. Yes! Ha! Oh, that was a pain in the ass. <laughs> Frankly. 800 stagnant light as a reward, though. Writing on the wall. I was never allowed a shred of human dignity. I thought he might acknowledge my presence, my strength. No, it wasn't enough that I pulled myself up here from the depths of hell to get here. Oh, no, I just read that wrong. No, it wasn't enough that I pulled myself up from the depths of hell to get here. He only ever had eyes for himself, and now he's trying to take everything from me once again. I won't let that happen. I'm going to take it all back. Stone tablet fragments. Okay, so. What did that do? I mean, most noticeable thing is that actually that's not everything in this area. It is, however, the big thing that I was... Uh, wanting to find oops that's not what I wanted to do there is it uh, right actually let's use this Because we can get that. Stand and Blight 100. That is the area. Excellent. Right. Next up. This room. Uh, now, I don't have...
Do I have any notes as to why... Why this room? Aha! That's sneaky. For ten blight. Ah, that's the uh yeah. Okay, that's uh that's the entirety of that area done. Thank cripes. Satisfying. Right. So we've got those two rooms there. We've got this one, and then we've got the nasty place. I'm recording this section of footage in post because I didn't actually record it the first time. And I'm not entirely sure why. As you can see, we're at a substantially higher level than I was actually when I did this bit for the first time. But I wanted to show you, rather than just saying, oh yeah, I went and did these jumping puzzles, I wanted to show you that it is perfectly possible to do them. So we're just going to clear away these things and I'm going to switch over to a second equipment set which has got Guardian Silver which is the key to this and the thing that you need to know about Guardian Silver is that her charged attack gives you and you can see it here some extra height. So if you do a couple uh, if, if you do a single jump couple of charges another single jump couple of charges and then a dash backwards of course then you can get all the way up like this gets you up to that ledge and then you can just climb all the way up to the top jump away single jump again double uh, dash and that gets you over to that and you get a massive chunk of blight for that so that's how you get to the first of the the tricksy rooms that we were looking at the second one which is down by the lake so here we go swimming across the lake same principle as before single jumps and silver sylvia whatever her name was i've forgotten already climbing up the side with a wall climb pretty straightforward double jumping just making sure you avoid the corners of ledges like that don't do that. Make sure you're facing backwards, using your dash to get back. Everything gets reset. So it's pretty straightforward to get up to here. But this is the tricky bit. This is the tricky bit, the lip here. Now, in the original version, this, this bit looks very, very fuzzy because it's, it's all covered up. But you can actually see what it looks like now. Screwed it up a couple of times here. That bugs out a little bit there, but it works okay. Not entirely sure what happened. King of the First Ages, Torn Note 1. I found a small girl in the Deadlands. She didn't speak, but fixed her gaze upon me as she clung desperately to me. I don't quite know what came over me then. Had I gone mad? Wanted to bring back a child of the ancients? Was it because she resembled us? Because she was a child? Or perhaps a sense of obligation? Perhaps I wanted my sins to be forgiven. Newly anointed. Stack and blight times hundred. King of the First Ages torn note two. Though we once thought them completely wiped out, the ancients have returned. From the farthest reaches of the land they came. Come, reanimated by the blights. The children of the ancients were revered and worshipped in Land's Ends as the White Priestesses. They were the only ones who could stave off the Blights. And though I knew full well the toll that purification places on their bodies, I could find no way to forestall their ultimate sacrifice. Another sin to add to the pile. Atonement now seems but a bitter joke. This one was probably the trickiest one. You want to climb up the wall as far as you can, jump out... Spam silver twice. 
dash, jump a little bit, and again, and you can just get onto the edge there. Again, having the relic that gives you jump height helps. Climb up the side of the wall, and you can get yourself a nice 800. I think that one was Furious Light, which is rather nice. So this here is the, the final one that I hadn't got. Again, I'd only got Guardian Silver at this point. I hadn't got the uppercuts, but that just gets you up to there for a plus 20 HP gem, which is very tasty indeed. We have got a handful of rooms that need exploring. That is my goal for today. Assuming I can remember how to get to them, which does seem to be sometimes a bit of an issue for me. Probably because I'm dumb. Is it this way? It is. Okay, so there is something in this room. That I have not yet found. Well, hi, friend. Nice to see you. Wish you weren't so fat. Um, that looks suspicious. Looks it, but isn't. Oh! Oh! Well, I mean, that explains why... I couldn't find the final door on the map, because we must have passed it. Oh! The button? Holy shit! That's some damage. Tell you what, you can have that. Let me purify you. He 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 he. Yoink. The Button Champion. Leap upwards with the Verbotten Champion. Shredding airborne enemies with his razor sharp claws. Despite being blighted in battle, driven by some purpose, this former knight was able to cling to his humanity. Escaping the stockade, he headed to the Verbotten Quarter and entered Faden's lab. Saviour achievement unlocked. Obtain every blighted spirit. So. That is the. Bull. Shebang. Where, where's the one that we've just got? Oh, it's that one. Big clawed man. However, that was not a door with a tablet behind. 
And we are still... I oh, know, we've got... We only need one more. We've got one more to find. So the question is... Where is it? Man. Oh, have we maxed out? We, we, we can't have maxed out our sword. So somewhere... In amidst this chaos... There has to be... Some more... Thingy souls. And this is just going to take us to the other screen, isn't it? Yeah. Anything down here? Ooh, that's uh, a rather interesting transition. For a zone that is so massive. It's really difficult to get a sense of where you are in it. And, and therein lies the issue with this map, realistically. Because on this map, it looks like a little square. Ah. Yes. Oh. Death time. Fortunately, you can do that whenever you want. So I suppose a uh, a no death run of this game is possible. Right, this Verbotten Champion. Where where was it? What's it look like? It said something about giving me extra heights. Aha! Aha ha ha! Aha ha 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 ha! I think that's what I need. To do this. It is a shame that that doesn't continue through screens, but because of how the rooms are set up in this game, it doesn't surprise me. Yeah. So I need to get up to there. Oh, that's going to be a tricky one. Ah, almost. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I turned around like a complete idiot. Completely screwed that up. The parry threw me off, to be fair. There we go. Stagnant Blight 800s.
There we go. That's got that room cleared. Wonderful. Okay, we've just got these last four rooms. But... <clears throat> one of them... One of them has got to have this last stone tablet. Ooh, I've just noticed the things hanging in the background. Uh, right, let's swap back over to our main weapon. But I'm going to keep the ghoul on. And we'll switch that over to you. For double the poison, triple the fun. Now, I strongly suspect... That we have to get through this one. I mean, I can get health back from these little bastards. Not a lot, but... And this is the incredibly... Oh, he died. Oh, interesting. Chain of sorcery. For him. Hmm. That's the room clear, at least. It is not, however, the stone tablet that I was expecting. Well, shit. Yeah, I have no idea if there's anything past this fat whatever they are. nice if some of that poison flew off and hit it but no oh, that was far far too messed go on i'll use the heal by the time i've recovered from the parry It, it just makes more sense to to dash. Calivia's ring reduces cooldown times. The ring of the ancients that lay dormant deep below the earth. A set of ancients lived underground alongside the blight flowing from the depths. They were called priestesses. And that is everything in this area okay we've got two more rooms for this tablet this place is really murky
Oh, I think it was up there. Did I see something? I think I saw something. Oops. assholes because they're just getting in my way. Yes. Amulet fragments. Not a stone tablet, but that's everything on that map. So, that's something, I guess. I'm wondering, you know, if it's at the bottom. If it's at the bottom of the gauntlety place. I'm wondering if there's going to be a door down there. Um, I think... Right, in order to get through that gauntlet, there wasn't any combat specifically. So if... Can we maximize? If we maximize the amount of healing we can do. Um. We'll have that on as well. So let, let's just see if we if we maximize our Obviously, we can't get hit. Oh. It's really hard to see those things. That was going all right, though. I don't know how much further there is to go, however. And there's almost certainly a boss at the end of it, but I'm assuming... Okay, that didn't give me the time. I 
It's almost like a puzzle section, this. I'm an idiot. Okay, just don't dash properly. heel didn't go off did it for christ's sake put the sound effect after it's gone off so you don't think it's done Again, have I taken the haste thing off or am I just being too impatient? There we go. Visitants. The Deathless Pact. Only high ranking priestesses are permitted to perform the necromantic rites that entreat the souls of the dead. A warrior of the ancients must forfeit flesh and offer their soul to the priestess, in turn, becoming a deathless entity. The pact is then sealed and continues down the family line through the generations until the bloodline comes to an end. The ancient warrior shall remain immortal so long as the pact continues. There's our final stone fragment. This is one of our... And this is the last... Um, some of the last soul. Or not. We were the last ones left alive. An undying warrior's end comes upon the death of the priestess to which they are bound. And the hour of death has come for my priestess and I. My eyes grow dim. Soon only our decaying corpses will remain. Perrin, Eldred is... battle is lost. Our homelands stripped bare. What fate awaits a people who have lost everything? 
Hatred is the vilest blight, and affected by purification, it festers, rotting one from within. Listen well, Ferin, last of the Undying Warriors. The bond of the Deathless Pact will pass on to a new priestess. I beseech thee, carry us in your memories. Be the guardian of the last priestess of our ancient society. Rest in peace, my brother in arms. I lost the priestess that I was meant to protect long ago, and have been imprisoned here ever since. Then I met you, the carrier of her ancient bloodline. My first thought was to break the bonds of the pact. On my own hands I would end it. But as we travelled together I came to a realisation. I was once supposed to protect the priestess of this land long ago. And I'm still meant to protect her. You are the last hope, the ancients. Together we can free the white priestess of the fount. I believe this to be the sole wish of the ancients. A wish and people long since consumed by the blights. Oh. Enter. Ah, a handy return feature. Okay, so that is where our last um, sword enhancement stuff is. Excellent. Sword fully enhanced. Really close to the end of the game for that, though. The ching Okay, so we've still got Sadly Oh, actually, no Let's go do something interesting Let's go Blighted Heart Let's go and uh, Perform this ancient magic ritual, shall we? I assume this is where I need to go for this Yes, it is. Restore power to the lost amulet. Perhaps performing the ancient spell here will unfetter the protective power of the white priestess within your amulets. I'll decipher the stone tablet that we've pieced together. Um. Luminant Aegis Curio protects from the pain of purification. An amulet whose form and power were restored by Faden's magic. The ancients crafted it long ago and dubbed it the Aegis Curio. The power it holds lessens the suffering caused by the blight during a priestess's purification ritual. With any luck, it will ease the burden purification has placed on you. Rebirth. So, it doesn't cost anything. I'm wondering what it does. Is it a, a damage mitigator? Does it do anything here? Was this going to give us the same ending as before?
No, I think this is the same, isn't it? I guess then it probably does something against the final boss. I assume purification is going to be part of that or something. I hope it is just like half damage or something. I love it when you get like a big thing like that towards the end of a game for, for really exploring. Especially when you get the opportunity to not have to wear it if you don't want to. The blight is being purified. Um, So uh, that's ending A again, isn't it? Hmm. Truth remains in the abyss. Tragedy never ceasing. Okay, 20 hours and 40 minutes. Uh, prepare statistics three, 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 three. Um, so we've got three rooms. Is it that? No, it's not that, but. There it is. It's going to be this, isn't it? 100 Furious Blights. No! Still not enough. Interesting. Ah! Amulet gem. 20 HP. Refurbishment, I'm assuming. Refurbishment is what? Maximum HP. What was maximum HP? 400. Okay. Uh, I'm entirely sure why there was a random cursor stuck in the edge of the screen. Um... That That is map complete. Apart from those last two rooms. Yeah, um oh, I have no idea what the last thing is in this room. Not a clue. Not a clue. Right. I'm going to end the recording session here. I'm going to go and finish putting together the map that I've been working on. Obviously, I can't do this one room, but, you know, I might have a, a, a cheeky look around. And uh, then we'll have a crack at the boss. Mm. 
I'm assuming it's the final boss as well. Good times. Cheerio. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.